Hello everyone, Max Maurice from Avoda Rentals here and this video is just going to show you how to charge the Teslas. So there is the public sector which would be level 1 charging, level 2 charging and level 3 charging and then there would also be the Tesla exclusive charging if you will, uh, the destination chargers and the superchargers. Alright so for level 1 charging you'd want to go in the trunk And then in this little bag here, you'll find this big cord. Now, there are two parts to it. There's the part that attaches to the Tesla, and then there's the part that uh, attaches to your home or your wall. Um, so what you would want to do is find your 110 outlet, your socket here. Which you can plug in like that. And then with the button, or just opening it manually, plug it in like that and now it's charging so in theory you could find 110 outlets just about anywhere uh, but these are commonly found at your home um, now this is the slowest way of charging um, if I just go in the car here so to charge it to full it'll take well over 20 hours like you can see here I'm about at 75% battery actually I could check exactly how much um, Go to units and format energy so i'm at yeah 77 percent of battery and it says 11 hours and a half to charge just till that point so if i set charge limit to full so if you want to go on a big road trip yeah so it'll take 20 hours just to charge that much so of course it'll take well over 20 hours if you want to charge from zero to 100. now once again it is just a simple 110 Plug like that however the car does come with a, a 220 240 so you can have a little more with this one um, so if you do have a washer dryer outlet um, in your garage um, that would be even better uh, for charging so yeah as you can see we're charging at five kilometers per hour of charge so it is the slowest form it's the level one slowest um, form of charging but it's great, I mean, it's good for overnight, you know, if you plug the car in roughly around, I don't know, 10, and then you wake up at, um, say, 9 in the morning, so that's, you know, 11 hours, so you'll have uh, a little bit more, but of course, uh, we always suggest to use the superchargers, um, and then DC fast charging or level 3 charging, or of course level 2, like, <laughs> you don't want to rely um, on level 1, now you can, but as you can see, you will be waiting quite a bit. And so to stop charging, it's just like any other charger. So you would press on the button here, wait till it, um, the light around goes like, like that, like a light blue. And then you would just take the cable um, and put it preferably back in the bag, but uh, you could just put it in the car. Just make sure, um, you know, you don't lose the adapters. Um, and then as long as it's all in the car, you know, even like that, you know, we prefer in the bag, but if you just want to throw it in like that, that's fine too. Um, and yeah, that's level one charging. Another thing that's great about the Charge Hub app is that you could see there's a green ring around um, the, the little icon here that means it's currently free. Um, so it says here two ports available. Um, so we're going to go to a level two charger and I'll show you how to do that one. All right, so here's the charger here in Parc La Fontaine. Um, so you'll see here there's two spots, or rather two chargers. Um, and you'll notice it's locked in there. So you might be like, oh, how do I get it out, etc. Well, you'll need the card um, that you can find in the glove box. And it's the uh, circuit electric card. It also works with flow, etc. Um, so in order to unlock it, uh, here it says user rate a dollar per hour. But once again, we cover that um, when you when you rent with us, right there. Tariff a dollar per hour. So yeah, so it's, it's locked right here. So what you have to do is just tap the card. You have to wait, and now you can reveals the charger so once again this you'll need an adapter for this one too um, so this adapter 
you'll find in the little bag here um, in the back and it looks like this so uh, be sure to always remember to use this and uh, put it back in the bag as well uh, so what you do with this one you just hook it in like that pretty easy to use um, and then it is it'll be long enough but you just have to tug on it a little bit um, and then once again you'll open you'll open the charge port like that and then you'll just plug it in you'll see the blue light you'll plug it in and now it's charging all right so now the car is charging um, between uh, 18 and 30 kilometers per hour of charge um, so that means uh, to charge it from zero to 100%, it'll take around 10 to 20 hours. So um, it is a little slower, um, but it's great uh, because you could just you know, plug it in and then go walk around this beautiful park or walk around the city. Um, there's, the possibilities are endless um, and it's, it's great. So you just plug it in and go. All right, so now the car is done charging. It's been a couple hours. Um, so what you would do to stop charging it's okay so there's a little button here you would press on that and that would unlatch the charger but not the adapter um, so to put the cable back you can see it's it's kind of uh, if you're parked a little further or something that's that's okay you can just tug on it um, so once again always remember to put it back and for security reasons or whatever always be sure to lock it so then no one can fiddle around with the cables or, or anything like that and now you'll notice the adapter is still in the car. Now the car will not drive, um, reverse, neutral drive, whatever. It will not move if this is still in there. So always remember to take it out and so that you don't lose it and you know where it is. Just be sure to put it back in the bag right here. Be sure to zip it up and then you can just leave it like that. And once again, It'll automatically close, but for whatever reason, if you're worried or anything, you can always close it manually as well. All right, so uh, we're pulling here in this parking garage. Uh, you could probably see it right there already. Uh, just to show you, there are other level twos, not just parked on the street, um, but also here in parking garages, uh, which is great because usually they tend to be in pretty prime um, parking spots, so close to the entrance or exit or whatever. Um, so I'm just pulling in here. Uh, so, this is, so this is great. This one in specific right here is underneath a mall. Um, so you could you know, do your shopping and everything while charging. Two birds, one stone. Um, so we'll just see how these ones look. It's kind of the same system where, oh, this one's actually open, okay? Someone can lock it, but yeah, so you see it's the same uh, chargers like before, uh, so you would open the port, put the adapter in, put it there. Um, so this is uh, in downtown Montreal at the Montreal Trust, if you will. Um, and yeah, so there's, there's four spots here to charge actually. All right, now, so with my phone, with the Charge Hub app, I checked it out and I am nearing really closely to the Mont Royal um, metro station and this guy just decided to park like that, that's fine. Um, but yeah, so this will be a Chatamo DC fast charging station, level three charger. So um, I'll show you how to charge the Model S or X um, using one of these stations. Um, and I'll run through a, a few stats as well, like how much energy you'll be using, um, how much wattage you'll be getting etc so it looks like there is a guy that's just stopping right now looks like he's done charging so this isn't like supercharging there are a few more steps to do um so in the glove compartment we have this little wallet looking thing so here's the card that you'll use to charge um also in the trunk here, you'll find the Chatamo adapter itself because as you see, this won't fit in the Tesla. It needs a little adapter. And it's not very little, actually, it's pretty big. Um, it's right here. 
right here. So here is the Chatamo adapter, level three DC fast charging. Um, so you put this end in the charger, of course. Big cable. So you just slide it in there. Now you have this big, big charger. Um, and of course, to open the charge port, uh, you can either press on the button or press on the charge port itself. And you can either pay first or plug it in first. It doesn't really matter, so uh, I just go and plug it first. Um, now you'll notice the light is still blue, um, and if you didn't see, so I've plugged it in. The light is still blue. It's not charging yet because I haven't paid. Um, so then you would take the wallet, and then you would take the uh, circuit electric electric circuit card, and then you would. Press on it, wait a minute, plug the connector so it's plugged and then you can start. Test in progress, and yeah, so now you can see it's charging. Once the ring flashes green, that means it's charging um, and you're good to go. So then uh, remember to always put the, it's pretty loud in the back, remember to always put the little wallet thing. Uh, Somewhere where you'll remember it, we recommend, of course, back in the um, glove box. Um, and that was basically DC fast charging level 3 uh, Chatamo. So like it shows on the card, Chatamo uh, charging will give you roughly like 250 kilometers per hour of charge. Um, so that'll just take a few hours to charge the car. Um, now you can see these stations are typically found in parking lots, uh, garages type things. Um, so it's pretty convenient and like I mentioned just before there's the Mont Royal uh, metro station right there so um, you could plug your car in and then go explore the city uh, it's pretty easy so now after you're back exploring from the city and the car is done charging it's time to stop charging so what you would do is not trip on the wire and then you would click on the red button here stop and then it'll stop charging then you just press on the button here and pull it out and you could then unhook the charger. So you would have to just kind of press on these big yellow button here, and then it'll unhook just like that. You would put it back in the trunk. Uh, please remember to put it back in the car because that is quite an expensive charger. And then to put it back, always remember to put the charger back as well, the, uh, the cable, because uh, you don't want to, um, you know, you don't want to be that person that just leaves it on the ground, right? So I uh, just put it back, easy as that, and then. Are you ready to hit the road with a full charge? Alright, so now for destination chargers. So destination chargers, we're currently at the Montreal Service Center, uh, but you'll typically find them at hotels, restaurants, stores, vineyards, golf courses, stuff like that. Um, so this is a Tesla only charger. So only Teslas can use them, not Nissan Leafs, etc. Um, and so you'll see it's this kind of iconic uh, little charger thing like that and then so like the supercharger or the home charger you'd find this nozzle right here so to plug it in press the button plug it in and then it'll start charging all right so as you can see from the screen here we're currently charging at 45 kilometers an hour um, at 48 amps now the reason why it says four to eight hours on the charging card is because uh, some of our cars are equipped with the dual chargers, which would um, benefit from the full 80 amps. So the the uh, destination chargers are actually 80 amp chargers, but so our Model X here um, only has a single charger, so that's why it's getting 48 amps, about half the charge, uh, 45 kilometers an hour uh, of charge instead of 80 kilometers an hour of our of uh, of charge. Sorry. Um, so that's why, so we're, we're about 40% uh, about here of charge as you can see, and it'll take just under four hours. Um, so if we were to charge it from zero to 100, it would take roughly eight hours. Now, for the cars equipped with the dual chargers, it would take roughly half that time. All right, and now to unplug it, it's like all the other ones. So you'd wanna press the button on the charger handle, and you'd wanna wait for the light to turn this whitish color. So you see it's blue. Press it again, and then it's white. So sometimes you have to press it a couple times, that's fine. 
Um, and then always be sure to neatly put the cord away. You don't want to be that person who lets it all on the ground and then maybe it'll get driven over and broken. Um, so yeah, just uh, wait till the light's white and then put it neatly. And now we're actually here at the Tesla Service Center in Montreal, where if you see there, uh, just to the left of me, uh, there are just a couple superchargers. Now, the superchargers will be the next segment, so just in a few seconds here, I'll explain the supercharging. But um, whenever you have the chance, always try to use the superchargers because as I'll explain in, in, a, in a minute, uh, it's, the charging time is a lot less, uh, actually significantly less. All right, so now for supercharging, so it's these big, nice looking <laughs> chargers here. So what you do is you just take the handle out like this and like every Tesla charger, there's a button here. You can press it there and then plug it in easy as that once it starts flashing green that means you're charging and now you could see instead of going in the car and stuff you could actually see in the car there um, well it currently says starting to charge charging will start momentarily oh, there you go now it's supercharging now it might be hard to tell on camera um, but it says there are 40 minutes remaining um, now as you can see the battery is about at 50% um, at 200 kilometers so that's like it says 40 minutes remaining now um, if you charge from 0 to 80 it'll take about you know 40 minutes as well so if you if you look at the graph it it goes like that kind of so at the start it's very quick but then it slows down so if you charge it to 80 the last 20 the last 20 to 10 percent will take uh, even longer so uh, unless you're going on a huge trip we highly I highly recommend not to charge it to 100, but if you absolutely need the full power of the battery, then of course charge it to 100. Now, as you can see, we're currently charging at 260 kilometers per hour of charge, 262, um, 63, um, but it'll, it'll always go up and then down. So once, if you're charging at like 10%, you'll see um, like you could charge at sometimes like 500 kilometers per hour of charge. But because we're nearing the end and you know, that's we're like at half percent, um, it goes back down to, uh, well, it's currently still climbing. Like we just plugged it in. So uh, I reckon, I think it'll climb up to about like 290, maybe, maybe 300 kilometers an hour. Um, and then the, the, the closer to 100, the, the, the lower it gets. All right, so I hope this video explained and answered a lot of your questions regarding charging. Um, if you still have some more questions, you could always consult the little card that we'll include in the glove box of all our Teslas. And if you have even more questions, you can always call us, email us, text us. Um, we'll be there to answer your questions. So I hope you uh, enjoy the rental of your Tesla.